Okay, good morning, Saturday morning, folks. And um, last painting session, we saw that we're working on the Amorites, these figures here. Geese Savoy. And yeah, they're pretty happy with how they turned out. Pretty happy with how these guys turned out. And I knew that as soon as I started working on these guys, the other ones would arrive. And uh, as predicted, um, they came in the mail yesterday. And these are the crossbowmen for the papal army. So um, we're gonna end up having to work on both of them at the same time because we're gonna assemble these guys and we'll have to um, prime them. And then they're gonna have to sit for a little bit while that cu while that cures and dries before we can work on. So we'll go back to the Amorites here shortly. But let's go ahead and set these guys out here. And this is the correct code, which is mid 57A, which is what I wanted. And there, I believe I believe it's correct now, mid 57A. Okay. I thought I flipped my I flipped my phone. This is getting to be a real pain in the ass for me, honest. Honestly, I'm not used to. I filmed for four years now, and my other camera program, um, I didn't have to flip the mirror, but I have to flip it with this one. So I think at the beginning of the show, I'm just going to have to show something on my screen. And if I see it here backwards, and let me just check that with. Um, let's see how can I check that? Let's go here. I know it looks like it's backwards there. Okay. I think it's correct. Let's see. Okay, it's on the opposite side. All right. I had flipped it correctly. I made a mistake when I thought I made a mistake. I don't know. If you guys see my mirror image backwards, let me know. So. And here's a good test for this. You see this right side up, or have you had too many of these, and then you see it backwards? <laughs> oh, mid 57A from Essex Miniatures. Let's go back to this other screen. Okay. And um, yeah, my other phone, that was never an issue. It's a problem with this. It's not the phone, it's the, it's the program. So, And I can't use the other one because it doesn't communicate with my computer. Something as simple as connecting your phone to the computer and just filming a video is not as simple as you think it is. So here's the figures. Let's grab some pens. And my one of my biggest gripes about Essex is the way they do their crossbows. I don't like the style that their crossbows are done in. They're kind of done in a generic, nondescript style. I don't know. Every crossbow is the same if they come with separate ones. So I wish they weren't separate. But they are. You just have to deal with it. So, All right. So let's look at the assortment here of figures. This guy with like a... See if we can get a more overhead view here. This guy with the this type of helmet. This guy with a helmet also, but no brim. Two of those. This guy with a completely round helmet. Another one of these. Another one of these. Another one of these. And another one of these. Okay. Good. I wanted these more than the other ones. Let me um, have this one crossbowman that I've moved off to the side here that we're going to mix him in as well. This figure from Naismith. 
and we'll pick eight of them. we're going to need to get our trusty exacto knife but one that's not too expensive that's that's a good one. Oh, this chair i need to remember to do that do a search on oiling spots on an office chair You probably can't fix it. They're meant to be disposable, just like everything else in our society. <laughs> okay, so we're going to use him. He's going to be one of them. And then these other guys have separate... Maybe I won't use him. He's... I mean, look at the crossbow size difference. It's massive. This guy has a small crossbow like that, and this guy has this ginormous one, which is almost three times bigger. Just crazy. All right, so one, two, three. We'll just set him off to the side. We'll use him for something else. All right, let's trim these crossbows off. Good morning, Harvey. Welcome. All right, let's see. And these guys are attached pretty. And we want to take this tip off, but not too much. The figures look nice. I just don't necessarily like these separate crossbows. Because you're going to end up boogering some of the ends. So I'm going to have to make the other end match it. I mean, it's like I can't, I can't get any closer. Yeah, the other day, the last painting session, somebody said after the painting session was over with, said, oh yeah, by the way, your image is backwards. Well, I had said it, I made it out of a point to do it, and then I had an unexpected visitor, which caused me to take my phone off the mount. And when I came back, I was delayed by half an hour. I wanted to get online so badly, I forgot to reconfigure that, so. Shit's gonna continue to happen, you know, typical incompetence. It's what you get for a free channel. <laughs> can't pay, can't find a good producer. You saved my life, you know. <laughs> All right, now let's clean this mess up. Move these crossbows. All right. Yeah, because this thing just lays on top, and I'm gonna have to use epoxy to to put this stuff down. I don't want these things to move after I've got them down. All right, let's let's see what needs to be cleaned up here. I don't know why this is shift. I don't know why this is shifting on me. I'm 
pretty much flash free. Not a bad looking figure. Past inspection. Where's the other one that's like on here? Just this hand down here with the they had the crossbow stuck to it in the mold. Next one. Now, hands at a really weird angle almost like it's almost like it's sitting the only one this one okay this is a more traditional one so what's the problem here with this guy no, I guess he sits like this okay perfect I just want to make sure I don't grind something off, shave something off, he's gonna need it for support. I really wasn't looking forward to doing any more priming. But it's got to be done. At least it doesn't take as long as it used to. Oh, this guy's got a mustache. Well, good. I've. I picked the variety pack of figures. I didn't want every figure to be the same, especially if they're all sporting mustaches. You know, it's weird when, you know, everybody's got the mustache. I was thinking of just getting this pose, eight of them in this particular pose. I'm glad I didn't do that. I don't want eight guys with mustaches. And what kind of a barbershop quartet is this? <laughs> Uh-oh. We have commentation. James L., welcome. Been painting six millimeter irregular dwarfs. Wow, those are little. Should should time should time it so I'm painting with someone something else. There you go. Yeah. Oh, you or watch YouTube, you know. I used to paint with music and then I got bored of that. I mean, many years ago. And then I would listen to talk radio and then I got bored of that. It's hard to find talk radio that's not politics or I don't do any sports, so sports is a no-go for me, listening to people argue about sports and shit like that. 
uh, politics. I don't want to listen to politics. It's just stupid. Um, wasting your time. And um, then I just had to find something that didn't make me look up every moment. You know, that's, of course, the problem. Like, I can't watch a movie and paint because I'd constantly be looking up and I'd be looking up and I'd be looking. I got a big TV over it. Well, I don't know if it's big, but it's big enough definitely to see. And um, that doesn't work for me. I'm not a, I'm not a person that watches TV while do, doing other things. So... Having something in the background on YouTube, listening to somebody else paint or whatever, that kind of works for me too. So, there was a, I think I can still find it, but there was a, a talk station here in town. I don't know if it's still around. I haven't listened to that in, I don't know, 10 years probably. And um, I came across a show. A radio show and I don't know that it was live or anything or it was a past performance but really had me in stitches and there's this guy that um, apparently from the first couple times I listened to it what it seemed to be was that God that sound is just awful what it seemed to be was that um, this guy had a, um, oh, hold on a second, let me take a look. The trick is do the strip stretch style, white brushed over black, painting washes. Okay. Good morning, Storm of Steel, welcome. Uh, you're getting no audio. I like history podcast, radio plays and music depending on what I'm doing, yeah. Hopefully the audio is okay. It should be on. Haven't changed anything. Um, let me know if the rest of you can't hear me. I make it a point to not change anything because, you know, it's a pain later. But I was listening to this, this particular show. Man, there's a lot of flash on this thing. Damn crossbows. And it seemed to me that there was this host that kept having uh, guests on that were very controversial and get people to call in and just to get them wired up. And come to find out, apparently the, the, the host the, that's running the show is apparently the same guy doing all of the other voices. And it was absolutely incredibly, well, first of all, it was extremely controversial stuff like, um, and uh, it was it was absolutely hilarious. I didn't realize it was all one fake, one big fake thing. But that guy's extremely talented if you could do that. But he was playing like four different people at the same time. So listen to that for a little while. I had some really good chuckles. That was a long time ago. That was like right after 9-11. So yeah, I guess that was a while ago. But now I just now I just paint. So if, well, I'm doing my own content. Because what happens is, is no matter what you find, you're going to um, you're going to lose interest, or at least I am, and I'm going to go search for something else. And you know, when you go searching for something else, you waste another 20 minutes. That's 20 minutes that you're not painting, working on your hobby. So this forces me to not leave. <laughs> I'm kind of tied down to it. And um, it works for me. Comedy's not bad either, listening to stand up. Problem is, you could waste a lot of time before you find the right thing. You know, there's a lot of stand up out there that isn't worth listening to, as far as I'm concerned. Phil Hendry, yeah. Phil Hendry was hilarious. That guy's extremely talented. I have no idea. I thought it was just one guy. I thought he, I thought he was the guy that was doing the radio and 
He's playing multiple guests. Crazy stuff. <laughs> Ignore me. It was my speakers. <laughs> He's doing a podcast now. It's a daily listen for me. Okay. Didn't know that. Yeah, I listened to a couple of his shows. and The first show I ever watched was this one that he did. It was right after 9-11. And he was talking about his guest. <laughs> I will... Um, I just don't, ass I don't assume that somebody's doing multiple voices. That's a whole lot of work. I mean... I guess I could do multiple voices, but not switch between them. That's just too much work for me. But anyhow, um, he um, he had this character on that was the Citizens Auxiliary Police, and it was after 9-11. He was going, he was having them on there talking about strip searching shoppers at um, at shopping malls, and people would call in and they were upset that you're not going to strip search my my daughter and it just got out of it just turned into a zoo i enjoy comedy that involves um somebody getting angry um so you know i appreciate i mean not everything but you know i i like stuff like sam kennison and um lewis black you know i i get into that you know when when there's a lot of that kind of stuff i don't like a lot of comedy because it's just nasty and it's not that I'm offended by that, but it's like, you know, it's, um, it's too much of the same thing, you know? Um, but anyhow, yeah, I had no idea he was doing all the stuff. That's, that's a lot of talent. So I've mentioned this channel before on, um, when we were talking about cars and stuff like that, there's the, there, it's called 3D bot racing and it's a die cast racing channel and there's rumors that the guy who has that channel is doing the same thing he's playing multiple things and, and the premise of that channel is they do hot wheels or matchbox cars and they do racing meaning you release them at the top of a mountain and they do their thing and sometimes they crash or whatever which sounds really boring but they announce it just like it's a real race it's extremely heavily edited Meaning they've got like four or five different cameras. And it's ex also extremely well done. Um, they only do one video a week. I'm way behind. I'm like a year and a half behind. I need to catch up with them. But um, that is that is a really quality thing. But I know for a fact that for a 20-minute video, they're spending their entire week probably editing it. Well, not for a fact. I suspect. it's 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 very well done. I highly recommend it. But there's rumors that the person of that channel is doing multiple voices as well. Um, the voices sound significantly different, but I know there's tricks and things you can do. I just, wouldn't it be easier just to get a friend <laughs> to, to do that? Um, yeah, 3D bot racing. Some crazy stuff on there. Really, really hilarious. You think, oh, that's just really basic. Who would we be listening to that? Now, go check it out. Go check it out. Go watch one of their series. Theo, welcome. I like those stop motion Lego battles like Creasy, Waterloo, etc. So cute and very clever. Yeah, Legos are cool. Legos are cool. The only thing about Legos is, is sometimes you look at Lego things and you're really distracted by the fact that they're Legos. And sometimes you kind of aren't. And what I mean is distracted, meaning uh, sometimes you see the, 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 the parts of the block that stand out, you know. And sometimes it's not distracting. It just depends on what it is. But uh, yeah, Legos, that's classic stuff. And with the, other, the other thing I associate with Legos is uh, Playmobil. They make a lot of different sets of that. Well, I don't know if there's any Playmobil videos. C 
seems like the Lego stuff's even more popular now than when I was a kid. There's a lot more variety of it and all that stuff. I mean, not that I have any, but... Actually, I have, I have, I have some Lego games. They made like a Dungeons and Dragons style Lego game, and I forget which one it is. I've got like two or three expansions that I played several times with my daughter when she was little. And um, it's it's a fun game. It's definitely a game that you could probably play and come up with your own rules, make give it a little bit more variety, a little bit more detail. But I forget what they're called. But they're discontinued now. Um, that's the thing about stuff like Legos and stuff. You'll, you'll find some company that'll make some product and they'll go whole, the whole hog. They'll go in, make all kinds of expansions, something like that. Two years go by, it disappears. It doesn't exist anymore. It's like, well, maybe if you guys hadn't burned out on it. Um... I like battle report videos too, but for games that aren't DBA. Sometimes I wish they would summarize more because they can get crunchy. Yeah, I don't want to edit videos. It just takes too much. It just takes too long. I can't paint and stuff. Um, Legos are getting worse and worse. I don't know what that means. I saw an old British Pathé movie the other day about wargaming with an actor, Peter Cushing, playing Little Wars on his floor. There you go. Didn't really know there was a subculture around it. Much prefer minis, but the animation people do do are incredible. It is. It's just way too much work, you know. I, I mean, I already have a hobby that takes forever. I don't need to add more things that take forever. Um, you know, I can't rush this process. I can't rush this along. Uh, it's just going to turn out like crap, and I'm going to be really unsatisfied with it, and I'm just going to stop doing it. So that's, can't do that. But, um, you know, I've, I've started, when I make videos, editing them, them less and less. Um, it just takes, it just takes time. So... One problem I'm having is I'm doing too much gaming. Um, I haven't gone to Mitch's in a, let's see, is it two weeks now? No, if I don't go Monday, it'll be two weeks. I'm probably not going to go Monday. Um, work's too busy, and, and I need to get this thing completed. It doesn't sound like it's a big deal. Ah, you just go over there for a couple hours, and I don't paint for a couple hours, but then I have to edit the video that I shoot, and, you know, and if anybody doesn't need to spend more time on editing videos, it's me. I need to, I need to knock this stuff out. So, and I'm not really excited about playing anything that aren't these armies that I'm working on. So, I need to go ahead and knock these guys out so we can see them in videos. And it's on a freaking work night. Oh, well. You know, the editing the video, it's not that it's a pain in the butt. It just takes a long time. Um, I know when I was looking for custom music to put in the background at the beginning, uh, you could, there's a couple of sites you could go to where you can get free music, but man, it, it could take you a whole, it could take you two, three days to find the right song. I don't have time for that. I don't, I don't want to devote time to doing that. So, well, this is a pain in the ass, but <laughs> luckily we only have to do this once. Sometimes the, the two molds, I guess it's a mold halves are out of register. Or there's a mold line between them, so they're sh slightly shifted a little bit. So, try to do the best I can to clean that up. Shoot, that means no DBA video watchers. Well, you can watch another the other 200 videos that are out there. Yeah.
UBA videos are always fun to watch because it's a concise game. It is. And yet there's some people that can't watch the whole thing. Some crazy stuff happens. Crazy, crazy stuff happens for sure. It's a huge Lego subculture. Adult fans of Lego, a fall, are everywhere. Huh. I saw a Seven Years War one that was amazing. My videos usually come around an hour where I try to just show the exciting parts of the game to highlight the fighting. I haven't seen your videos. I'll have to check them out. I know there's, um... Yeah. Eddie's a slow process. Grab loads of FX and stuff and save them as files so I know where to get them in the future. Yeah. I'm always concerned about grabbing stuff on the internet and then using it in a video and then people have a problem with it and I have to, not people, uh, YouTube has a problem with it and then it somehow uh, messes because of copyright. You know, so now I'm, when I go and find music, I just, I find, I just use the music that's provided with my, um, with my editor software, which I really like my editor. I don't do any editing on my computer. I do it all on my phone. Um, and I got used to, I mean, I've only had my laptop now for a year or so, maybe 14 months, something like that. So before that, I just edited it on my, on my phone and it's, super easy to use the one on the phone and it's really powerful but um, I guess I could probably do I just I don't need to I don't need to relearn how to do I don't I had what was that one called Da Vinci Resolve I had Da Vinci Resolve and I was spending a long time doing videos I'm like man I'm I'm a, I'm a painter, not a video guy. You know, this is, this is what I do. So <clears throat> a lot of it is what, what your personality is. I don't, what I'm doing right now, I don't mind that this is taking a long time because I'm moving forward doing everything. Um, when you're working on electronic things, you might try something and it doesn't work. And you try something else and it doesn't work. Or you look for a song for two hours and you don't find one. That's that's time wasted. This isn't time wasted because I have to do it anyways. Um, it's time wasted because the molds should be in better shape than this. But um, So I have no problem doing something that involves painting that takes a really long time, for instance. Because you're constantly moving towards the goal. But when you spend hours doing something and have nothing to show for it I don't have the personality type for that it doesn't work for me um, so I don't enjoy or you spend and this has happened to me before you, you shoot a video you edit it then you go to export it. I think they change what it's called now. Basically, crunching it down so that it can be sent out. Um, that process takes a long time, and there's been times when that process is jammed after several hours, and then I have to start over. That's frustrating. Um, or it gets sent out and takes a while to be processed by YouTube. You know, just that kind of stuff I, I don't care for. Now, I will say, I don't really care for playing games that aren't filmed because so many interesting things happen in the game. So, you know, like for instance, I'm not particularly interested in going over to Mitch's house and playing and not filming a game because it could be it could be the coolest game ever and then I didn't film it. But... And it's just, it's so hot. It's so hot. And we play in a shed. So, after I've been hot all day at work, so it can wait a little bit. It can wait a little bit.
Okay, I think. I don't even know if our show is going to go off or not. We'll see. People say we live in interesting times. I would say we live in annoying freaking times. That'd be what I'd call it. But Especially because I don't think we're ever going to get back to normal. I think it's going to be just like 9-11. Things won't go back. So, well, it's helpful. I problems with my hands due to a work injury. Oh, my pain is a little simplified, but I cover up my tips any, any, any way I can. I'm so itchy for a game. I'm going to be using 3D terrain for a second door since some opponent fact, faction is done for hot. I think some videos of my paintings and amazing just because there isn't much out there. Could make my own musical cues and artwork, but I know nothing about video. Yeah. It's a different animal. It's like you know what to do. You just don't know what to... Like, I knew how to edit videos before I edited a video. But it's just which button does what you want it to do. And you watch television. You know how to do cut scenes and all that stuff. You've just never done it before. All right. Um... Yeah. I got too much gaming going on. I've got multiple tournaments. Luckily, one of them just finished in Field of Glory. It's just taken two. I get up in the morning and I want to do a little bit of painting, and I got to go through my turns, and 30 minutes goes by, and I got to get ready for work. I didn't get to do any painting. So I need to, I need to step away from that. Um, I, I don't enjoy playing people that I don't, don't know. Um, there's just not much of a draw there for me. Luckily, I didn't join. They got some tournament, the world tournament or something like that, where you join teams depending on what country you're from. I'm like, okay, that's too involved. I'm not doing that. Um, luckily, I didn't. But I think I'm going to give that a rest for a while. And then what's even worse than that is you have a couple of weeks to finish a game, which sounds like a lot, but I don't want to do more than one turn a day. And it's hard to get through a game in two weeks with only doing one turn a day, one bound a day. And I just don't want to be rushed. I got other things to do. We need to produce this stuff. these guys sit for a little bit let's get the epoxy because we don't want to use regular super glue for this super glue I've, I've started using less and less um, um, super glue and um, and using more epo epoxy because super glue once it it's a strong bond but once you get any kind of crack at all it's it, it's it. it has no flexibility to it to the bond at all so I don't use it for anything Really important. Now that epoxy works great, I remember epoxy as a kid didn't work worth a crack. It's gotten better, or maybe it's more shelf. Things are sitting on the shelf last time, or something like that. Does having a channel give your painting structure? Yeah. Having filming yourself forces you to stay on task. You don't get, you don't think about something else and go look that up, and the next thing you know, an hour has gone by. We all spend too much time surfing the internet, and I got to get these guys done so I can work on the next army. I got lots of things I want to do. I just can't do them all at once. Okay, I'm looking for a needle. and I still can't find things sometimes. This is why I see people's painting area. I'm like, how do you guys get anything done? How do you guys get anything done? All right, we're just going to use the tip of this exacto knife as that. It, 
it comes off easy. So. That's why I'm so anal retentive about getting any paint on my cutting thing. Because I see it and I, I'm like, man, you, I mean, I'm looking for stuff when I don't have that mess here. I can't imagine having like this big splotch of multiple colors in front of me that I have to try to look around and say, nope. You know, you're subconsciously, you're like, nope, that's not it. Don't look over there. That's not important. I'm trying to find other stuff. Here it is. Persistence is the key to victory. Marco, welcome. If you give up, you're never gonna you're never gonna complete the task at hand. Alright. That's I coined that that saying. I've used it a couple times. I don't know, maybe somebody else came up with something. That's just from uh, experience, you know. Don't give up looking for stuff or you're never going to find it. Yeah, so if you use an, if you use this a needle like this to mix up your... Um, and yes, it's ground down. I wouldn't, can't believe how many people are like freaked out by it. You're going to poke yourself. Yeah, if I fall on it, but you know, it, it doesn't poke you. You know, there's a thing called a metal file where you file things down, you know. But this works really well because I can clean it up. It's not, I used to use a little piece of wood, but it didn't have much of a fine point. And then what would happen is, um, we'll let this set a little bit. Um, what would happen is, is then um, I'd end up having to throw that little piece of wood away. I have to constantly keep making them. So started some Trojan Wars this morning. My favorite Martian, Trojan man. Yeah, Trojan Wars. I wish we knew more about that period, about that stuff. There's so much stuff that's been lost. Millions of people have suffered and died and their stories are gone. It's like, that is just beyond sad. At least learn something from, oh, we won't do that again. I shouldn't have started with that figure. That's a weird figure. All right. It's weird the way that crossbow's being held. Let's do them last. I may have to mix another batch of this crossbow stuff of this epoxy. Yeah, it happens. Marco's up early. Yeah. People that sleep in, what a waste of time. Only time I don't um, I don't mind sleeping in is when I'm on a cruise. Yeah, remember those things? Cruises. Because then you turn one day into two days. You get more days. Yeah, a long time for we'll go on a cruise for sure. Things need to get back to normal before I'm interested in going on one. Back to the old normal. Okay. This guy. Let's see how this sits on here. It sits in a weird, weird fashion. See, all this that I'm doing now, I shouldn't have to do. The figure should have already come, already pre done this way. Like, why am I doing all this fiddling around? Essex does make crossbowmen that are, that have the crossbow built on them. The Asian ones do. I don't know if that's just, it didn't work out for them or, 
I don't know what the reasoning is. starting to thicken thought about switching to 10 minute epoxy but I got so much of this stuff I've been using this stuff for 10 years and it's still I still have so much left you know I'm using really small quantities get the same pose make it easier feel like this hand is misbent. Let's hold him. If I mix too small amount of epoxy, I, I, I feel like it doesn't, won't mix together well. Maybe that's not true, but it sure seems that way. the other more for the last two yeah if I do I do whoop de doo but I need to get this stuff done because then this is has to set and then we gotta prime them and then they can wait. We can go back to work on the amorites then. Okay. We're gonna punt at this point. Let's move this somewhere that I can't get on something. great material this cardboard it's free not only is it free people try to get rid of it my screen got not as bright what happened where do we all stand in historical accuracy of paint jobs I was shouted down on another channel for saying I felt it important. Shouted down. That sounds That sounds nasty. I think it's important to me. I think people can do whatever they want. Once you start telling me what to do, then we're going to have problems. I don't like being told what to do, especially for a hobby. I think it's important to me. Otherwise, I just paint fantasy. But, you know, there's a, there's a, a reasonable level of artistic license that I think that, you, that I'm willing to do. So I like paying things that you know some schemes about. And then putting your own little spin on it. Which is what I'm going to do with the Amorites. I mean. Shout it down. 
You, sir, are incompetent. <laughs> the shouting down in, a shouting down in jolly old England. I wonder what that sounds like. <laughs> um... Why is this? Why did this get darker? Hold on a second here. Is my computer crapping out after it be only being a year old? I hope not. Yeah, I, I don't see this very. I don't see this very well. I don't think it's the angle. Uh, da, 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 da. I say even English Civil War uniforms can't be agreed on, and I want purple Macedonians. I'm doing purple Macedonians. Yeah, whatever you know. Sometimes it's all you can do to make your army stand apart, especially with small scales. Okay, predominant Napoleonic, historic, I guess everything in the world in Napoleonic miniatures. I don't know, man. Austrians are white or oatmeal gray. <laughs> I have yellow tuniced Imperial Romans like a boss. Yeah. I try to be really positive about my hobby. I'm certainly not positive about everything, but this is all therapy. So, you know, make this what you want to make it. Oh man, come on, we don't need to lose one of these things. Fiddly bits. Okay, that one sits on there pretty well. Yeah, it wants to twist a little bit. No big deal. We'll let this set a little bit, so not too much. You know, if I see something, a paint job that somebody did that I don't like, what do I do? I shut the hell up about it. And that's not our hobby. That's a personality issue. I see it on other websites. I see it on people that are into cars or anything else that I'm that I'm into. It's the same people. Half the people are just assholes, you know. And then worry about the other half. And then half of that other half. So what? Twenty five percent of the people. That's the good folks right there. But there's lots of things I don't like. I don't have to freaking point it out. It's not like your charisma is that high where you're going to change everybody to your way of thinking, you know. Yeah, why did this get so dark? All right, let me change screen. See if the other screen's that way too. Yeah. All right. I'm going to turn this light off for a second. Huh. That's funny. I look at the background of the camera. It looks like it's daylight. It is certainly not. Okay. I don't know why the... I'm one of those people that has the brightness on the screen turned all the way up. I need to be able to see. Uh -oh, well, we don't need volume. Let's try. It's this one. No, that's the power button. No. Oh, well. We'll just deal with it. Don't make me buy another computer. I didn't buy a cheap one either. That shouldn't be happening. Bad chips, right? Should last a long time. I don't use it that much. I use it here in the this video stuff, but I'm not on my personal computer that often. I'm not one of the lucky people that can work from home, so. It's going to want to twist on me. Now, how are we doing here? I feel like this one's set even faster. Let's get underneath here. And add a little something, something.
hot glue gun. Come on. All right, we're going to let these guys sit here for a while. Victrix Persian Cavalry also arrived today, so I'm painting as well. Excellent. How do you like plastic? I guess you like it okay. I'll be honest with you. I don't like plastic. I don't know if I'd paint figures if I had to paint them in plastic. I'm going to say something bold. And you guys know how I feel about 28 millimeter. I'd rather paint 28 millimeter in metal than 15s in plastic. I just don't want... They just, they're just too bent. They don't feel right. I mean, I'm glad that they make them because it's people should deserve choices. I'm sure there's people out there that prefer plastic. Let them paint plastic. I'm not one of those, well, you're an idiot if you don't like. No, it doesn't work for me, but choices is good. The consumer wins when there's choices. So, uh, how white were white uniforms in 1805? How many times did they roll around on the ground? Vegetable dyes didn't last a campaign. Also, uniforms made by one outfit wouldn't exactly match uniforms made elsewhere. Yeah. Prefer oatmeal for Napoleonic Austrians and cool white for Seven Years' War. I break all the rules or exaggerate grossly when it comes to trouser color. Same with rope and Prussians. Yes, they all have brown pants. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to be painting any Napoleonics anytime soon. It kind of helps that Joel built them all, so I don't have to do any of them. It's not my period anyways. I don't hate the period, it's just not my thing. Okay, back to the Amorites. Let those guys dry for a little bit. I think what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do the clothing on these two. I'm going to go ahead and finish these two figures all the way up. Now, they may not be the ones that go on the stand together, but we're going to finish these guys all the way up, see what we're dealing with. All right. So let's do some Middle Eastern skin. Or how I've been successful with Middle Eastern skin. Don't, that's really bugging me, this whole, the this, this screen, I, I can't make it out that well. Try to paint accurately within reason. A lot of contemporary descriptions for ancients and medieval is still largely conjecture, in my opinion. Yep. It could be. Too many people don't say, I don't know, when they don't know something. Maybe it's a human nature thing. I know there's some people out there that are like, oh, I don't want to say I don't know because it seems like I don't know anything. I said, no, you're just being honest. You know? I am not into stars and stuff like that very much. But I always laugh when people said, oh, we discovered this, this star. It's a... A hundred million light years away. You don't have a freaking clue. You do not have a freaking clue. A hundred million light years. That would be like... If you travel the speed of light, which we're probably never going to be able to do, okay, you would have to leave while there were still Tyrannosauruses around the Earth to get there. That's, that, that kind of shit is unfathomable. I mean, some of you guys may like that. It, it's unfathomable. 
because the same people would be like, well, what's the, what's the color of the Roman shields? Oh, we don't have any information on that. So you don't know something that happened basically yesterday on this earth and you're telling me you know what's happening 100 million light years?